Climb through the clutter. These are the hard facts. Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zavolinski, and this week on Hard Facts, let's talk about subject lines. Yes, we're data scientists analyzed over 100 million tracked emails from a full year period, from 2015 to 2016, and their study cemented some of the items we've been talking about over the years and shed new light on subject line do's and don'ts. So for example, subject lines framed as questions get fewer opens and fewer replies. The phrase quick question is simultaneously a top 10 most used and least effective email subject line, along with quick request. Get out of the pattern of immediately telling someone you want them to work for you before they even open your email. And on that note, if you haven't yet dropped the exclamation points, they hit your spam filter so heavily, both in your inbox and when you're combing through to determine if you should read emails, they also have low open rates. It used to be a best practice when sending mass emails that you would include a person's first name in the subject line. You know, this worked for a while because many failed to realize that with the assistance of technology, the entire one-on-one -on -one communication and personalization experience could be faked. Now many identify these as indicators of a sales email and just choose to delete them from their inbox altogether. And as a salesperson, I understand that it can be really hard to consistently break the mold. You may have sent or even received an email that indicates it's forwarded an email or it's a response to a previous conversation. Well, this is just another form of email trickery. It still fools most when in your inbox and gets somebody to open it, but does not get that reply. So test it for yourself and take a chance and see if it's the right fit. If you're still working for an opportunity to connect and sell through email, one tactic to implement is using numbers in your subject lines. The strategy of utilizing numbers or results is higher than average open rates and higher than average reply rates due to the credibility you're providing and the numbers quoted, you're driving that engagement you've been looking for. And last but not least, if you're wanting people to sign up for a webinar, take a step back and look at the language, specifically the words you're using to drive someone to fulfill your call to action. Commonly, vendors use all the same language, reducing the persuasive nature of the text. See the chart here to identify words you may want to replace or reprioritize in your emails. Oh, and one more thing I almost forgot. When you're updating your subject lines, make sure you're utilizing title case, aka capitalizing every word. That's just another example of how a hard fact turns into a solid strategy. Like, tweet, or comment below on a topic you'd like me to cover, and I'll see you next week.